We all know that in 2020, the Cobra Speed Zone has been one of the drivers to beat. And I think Cobra have done it. The Cobra Speed Zone has been beaten by the um, Cobra Speed Zone. Let's do it, and let's do it now. You see guys, I really, really, really wanted to love this driver. I wanted to, to never let this driver go. I wanted it to be the driver that I would play for the rest of my life. But I'd sort of hate it because um, I don't want to get too attached to it, you see. Um, you're going to want to stay tuned to this. Tight, but safe. I'll clean this because it's uh, not mine, not for long anyway. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, first things first, I would like to, I'd like to thank you for the comments on yesterday's video. I'm going to put them on screen now. It really, it's kind of given me an extra bit of a drive to keep pushing forward, to keep doing what I'm doing. So thank you a lot. But also guys, if you're new to the channel, then make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button below. And you're definitely going to want to hit that subscribe button on this video if you haven't because um, you know, so I didn't want to get too attached to it. Well, um, guys, this could be yours. The Cobra Speed Zone Camo could be uh, could be finding its way to you. You've got to do a couple of things. So guys, I first saw this on Instagram. I saw it on Cobra UK's Instagram and I was like, oh my gosh, I need that in my life. So the Cobra Speed Zone driver is a great driver. It's been a great driver. The F9 was a good driver. Cobra have sort of taken the game from here to like, there. But then when I saw this camo model, which is limited edition and 10% of the proceeds from American Golf here in the UK, those do go to On Course Charity here in the UK, which is a charity to help injured servicemen and veterans. And yeah, massive. That's massive to me. You see, I've got a little bit of a tiny background. I used to, I used to work at a company before my golf career called Hesco Bastion. Now that won't mean a lot to a lot of you. In fact, it won't mean anything to probably any of you, but basically Camp Bastion in Afghanistan, I helped build a little bit of that, not out there in a factory in Leeds. You wouldn't have got me out there. I wasn't that brave, but I saw a lot of charity going on around injured servicemen and soldiers. I saw a lot of Help for Heroes stuff, which is another charity. I saw a lot of things that just made me really proud. And obviously a lot of people do give a lot. So yeah, things like that really do just, yeah, it gets me a little bit worked up to be honest. But Right, let's have this nice chip. Decent drive this, just a little bit right. Oh, that took a terrible bounce, terrible bounce. And you see guys, that's a huge reason why I really wanted to love this driver. But then when the guys at American Golf said, oh, we'll send you one to give away. I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. So guys, all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning this Cobra Speed Zone camo driver, which I've mentioned is limited edition, and do not worry, guys, I have made a donation for the 10% to the on-course charity, so that definitely is still met, because obviously this one is now not for sale, because it's going to one of you guys. So all you have to do, guys, you have to be subscribed to this channel, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, like this video, also comment below on-course charity, on course charity three words they do a fantastic job they do an amazing job so just type that out for me and then if you do want to go over and check out what they do that's fantastic as well also guys go over and subscribe to american golf's youtube channel because they provided this for me for you for you um and it's uh, i mean it's something special isn't it would you use it i'm only going to hit a couple with it and then i'm going to wrap it back up for you because if i had it i'm not sure if i'd use it or if it'd kind of go pride of place somewhere but you know what we'll play this chip with it because that's not going to damage it too much is it and this is for a birdie so turn oh not bad i'm not going to do a one club challenge with it because i don't want to wreck it because it's going to be someone else's but we'll take that for par and move on Guys, seriously, whoever wins this. Also, guys, if you're local to me and you want to make the journey, feel free to come and pick it up. We'll have a game, we'll have a bit of a knock, and I'll even kind of give you a little bit of a fitting for it. Fitting in loose terms, because it's as it is, but we'll kind of play around with the loft. And I mean, looking at it, it's got everything, 
it's got the loft adjustments, it's got the CG adjustments, it's got all the tech that you would expect to see in the standard Cobra Speed Zone. This isn't the extreme model, it is the standard model, but looking at these two clubs, even if you don't win this, if you got fitted for a Cobra Speed Zone and you were thinking, well, do I go for the white, do I go for the yellow, or do I go camo? I mean, there's only one winner, isn't there? So it's like a matte finish as well, it looks, Honestly, the pictures on this video will not describe how good this thing looks. It looks nice and subdued down at the golf ball, as you can see here, compared to the standard speed zone. But also, I mean, look at that face. It's got a camo face. What face, I hear you say? Do you get it? Do you get it? Right. Um, yeah, we're not going to do a comparison because they are, in essence, exactly the same club. So we're just going to play a couple of holes. We made par there. Oh, quite a long drive, albeit a, a one to the right, but... This is into the wind, let's see how we go. Oh, one. Go on guys, comment below, one. There's always one, isn't it? That keeps happening to me, I don't know why. Right. It looks so good down at the ball, so good. Oh, you can't have it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you can't have it. That was out of the camo, that was out of the middle. If I put the wrong head cover on and send the standard one, no one will know, will they? No one will know. American Golf don't need to know. Cobra don't need to know. Nobody needs to know. I suppose I'd know, and you'd know when it came, so. Um, yeah, but honestly, guys, good luck to whoever wins that. So I mentioned a few minutes ago that the specs on this driver are kind of set. This is the drive that you will win. We will post it worldwide. If you are outside the UK, I just ask that you cover postage and packaging because it could go anywhere. The specs that this driver is, I mean, you could get a new shaft for it if you really wanted, but it is a nine and a half degree head. The beauty about the Cobra Speed Zone is you can go from seven and a half degrees to ten and a half. So basically that's going to cover, I mean, that's going to cover most people, isn't it, really? Did I mention the face looks really cool? The face looks so cool. Um, it is a rogue... Where are we? It is a rogue 60 gram stiff shaft, and even the head cover's cool. I don't know why I had to stop there to show you that, I could have showed you back on the tee. But I'm excited. Are you excited? Who's excited? And I must say, that last drive into this wind was like a knuckleball, it was like a... We're not getting into that again. My knuckleball sound was terrible in the last video, and people let me know about it, so it went... There you go. Right guys, always nice to hit a fairway, even if it's uh, only just. At least I've not hit one left with this as well, so I can pretty much guarantee that this is an anti-left driver. I mean, I can't guarantee that at all, but for me to hit a couple of shots and not go left, feels good. 136 left in, that's decent because it's early as well. I've not really had a proper warm-up, and by proper warm-up I mean I've not had a warm-up at all. Um, that head cover is so cool. It is so cool. Right, 9-9, nine, because nine, it's into the wind, guys, do we think? Yeah? Right. If this goes long, it's your fault. Let's have a birdie. Well, that's, is that left? It's trying to come back. Sit. Sit. Long. Your fault. Well, he's pitching wedge all day. That is the sign of a true golf professional. It is never your fault. It is always someone else's fault. I think. Sort of. Okay, it was my fault, I'm sorry. So we're gonna finish this hole off, I'm gonna send a drive down the par 5 18th, see if we can set up an eagle opportunity because that hole is downwind and it's not a long hole at the best of times, it's a little bit moist underfoot, but with the camo, you can even have like a nickname for it. Guys, can I have it? Can I, can I enter at least? I'll, I'll subscribe to American Golf and I'll subscribe to here, and I'll like and I'll comment below on course charity. Um, okay. Right, not actually too bad. It's still a club long, so I'm still blaming you guys. Um, we can't really use the driver for this one. We'll just use lob wedge just to upset Chris, although we are chipping onto a down slope. Let's see how close we can get. Oh, how good is that? Just turn a bit. Got to be. Oh! Oh, we'll get the putter out. We'll get the putter out. Because it's early and you need to practice these. They're not all circle of friendship. If they were, you'd miss most of them. Right, this for two pars and then hopefully a Steven Seagal eagle. That's Chris's thing. I don't know if that'll catch on or not, but down the last. Oh, only just. Only just. 
And I promise this is the last time I'm going to tell you how cool the head cover looks because it's, uh, I mean, look at that. Last time. So I'd just like to kind of take a minute as well to, I know I mentioned it earlier, but guys, check out On Course Charity. I'll put the website down below. It's, it's just fantastic. I mean, the people that do obviously serve for us and serve for the guys over in the US and, and just it's, what they're doing is absolutely fantastic and just take a look at it. I, I can't, there's no point me saying it because I've not been in that situation. I can't, I can't relate to it all, but I can just imagine. So um, very rare I'm lost for words when I'm trying to tell you something, but that might just tell you something on uh, what it means, I think, to everyone, hopefully. Last hole, eagle, positive, camo. Is it going to be yours? Comment below if it's going to be yours. Is it going to be yours? There's one person who it's definitely not going to be in this world, and that's mine. That makes me feel really sad, but also really good, because we can give it to you. Eagle time. Oh, it looks so, it even sounds different with, the, with it being matte. Draw. Draw. Not sure. I'll wipe it up because that's the last time it's going to be hit until you hit it at home because you've won it. So good luck. Remember, subscribe. Subscribe to American Golf. Comment below. On Course Charity. Even the head cover's got a little bit more of a... See, that's what that's what I like. The, the thought, you know what? The head cover was a bit tight. I said I'd not talk about the head cover again, but it fits the club better. And in fairness, I don't think we're making Eagle from there. It leaked a little bit to the... Um, to the right hand side so uh, i'll say it here guys thank you so much for watching really hope you've enjoyed that huge thanks to the guys at cobra huge thanks to the guys at american golf make sure you check out on course charity and obviously huge thanks to all the servicemen and women and veterans and just thank you thank you from me thank you from everyone that's watching and especially good luck to you guys if you're entering um maybe we can sneak a birdie And guys, I'm going to make this draw on my community tab, so you have to be a subscriber to see that. And I'll give it two weeks. So this is going out Friday, so two weeks today. The date will be 28th, 5th, 12th. 12th of September. Check it out. And I'm not entirely sure we're going to make Eagle, or maybe even Birdie, from, uh, from there. But we can certainly try. Um, is that bag in the way? Seven. Can we get a seven over there? This could end horribly. Such a nice video, but we need that tiger. Uh, I mean, it's done okay. I could have, I could have hit, could have definitely hit a sand wedge to there without all the rigmarole. But so this potentially will be the last shot of the day. You see, unless I put it really close, then I might show you the putt. But chances are unlikely but we will endeavor to try our best so i'm even going to get a yardage again i'll ask you guys the club and then the blame's always there isn't it 115 gap wedge that's gap wedge all day isn't it definitely 50 degree just a nice one flags right at the back we might as well be attacking a little bit left again um yeah, we'll uh, we'll definitely finish. Um, well, I mean, I'll show you this again, but guys, we're going to finish the video there because that was terrible. Thank you so much for watching. God, that took a long time. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you want to win this. It's the third time I've told you this video now. People say I repeat myself, but people also say I repeat myself. So, guys, good luck. Good luck, I hope you win it. Thanks to the guys at American Golf for sorting this. Thanks, Tom, appreciate it, mate. You could have sent two out, couldn't you? You could have sent two, because it's, anyway. Um, would you use it as well? The head covers, have I told you about the head cover? I'm gonna stop. See you tomorrow. Bye.